you know, as I'm getting back into the swing of things, I was, this, this whole journey has, has taken me on a whirlwind of things. First of all, the what ifs, for example, what if there wasn't a surgery like vitrectomy that would repair a hole in your macula? What would that um, circumstance have done in terms of my status as um, a visual artist, a visual uh, technician, if you will. I'm a video editor and my life is about, or at least how I have defined my career has been about visual and audio um, editing. And that brought me to a place where I was looking at what could I feasibly do? What are others doing that might have visual challenges that might come up as they age? Well, I'm really grateful for the fact that I do have uh, the opportunity to have the repair done. I'm waiting for the complete healing and to give you uh, a, a final report on my journey after having a vitrectomy. But for the time being, um, the majority of my sight is here, but I still have that gas bubble sitting right there, <laughs> jiggling right now. Um, it's, it, I'm, I'm becoming a, a, a temporary friend to it, but um, I will be glad to send it off. Um, I think about a, a lot of things, but mostly I, I am just so grateful to be here today. Uh, work, I was exhausted. After I finished work, I went, I laid down, I went to sleep, and I had a really, really good sleep. One I haven't had in a long time because this procedure had me waking up so many hours to put drops in my eyes. Uh, now, as I'm getting towards the finish line, uh, this week, I only have to put a drop in one time a day. Uh, so I don't have to set the alarm and get up and open my eye and put the drop in. So that's a good thing. So I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad to be back to work. I have uh, some minor paperwork that I have to, you know, get off, send off to management um, and HR. But besides that, um, I'm taking it one day at a time and I'm very, very grateful, um, to be able to have this platform to share this part of my life with you. I appreciate all your comments, your likes, and please, if this, um, says something touches your heart or what, whatever, share it with someone else that might get something out of it. Much appreciated. So I'm going to close because I have to get ready to, for work. Um, I want to wish you, as usual, love, light, and most of all, joy. And P.S. There is a dear friend that I would meet in passing who would say, Nadine, don't let anyone steal your joy. And so right now I want to say to you, don't. Let anyone steal your joy.